Hey guys, this is the big boss of Too Cool and V Cool. And I am back here again, making you guys a new video. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, guess what, guys? Today on SmackDown Live, we just got ourselves some bad news. And that news is that Becky Lynch will no longer be facing Ronda Rousey at Survivor Series. And the reason why is, if you guys don't remember what happened on Monday Night Raw yesterday, there was a part of the match where Becky Lynch was in the corner with Nia Jax. And then Nia Jax hit Becky Lynch with a punch. Some people said it was an elbow, but she clocked Becky Lynch and Becky Lynch fell down to the ground. And uh, yeah, and that's that's when we saw Becky Lynch was busted open. She was bleeding on her nose. She was bleeding a lot. It was just crazy. And I, one thing I have to go ahead and address, and I already, I already made this video about me talking about uh, how did Becky Lynch get uh, a busted nose, well, bloody nose, if you can say. Busted, bloody, broken, whatever. Still the, still the same thing, but they, they, they called it right here a little bit differently than what we were all speculating what it was, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, uh, Becky Lynch um, did, in fact, get hit by Nia Jax. And some people were saying that it was Dana Book that had Becky Lynch in the face, which wasn't true. Uh, we actually saw the video of what happened to Becky Lynch of her getting a uh, bloody nose. And I will be posting that video uh, after a after this. At, at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys the video, what it looks like. You guys could see what happened to Becky Lynch and all that stuff. But yeah, um, it wasn't that it wasn't uh, Dana Book that hit Becky Lynch. It was uh, Nia Jax. So um, just wanted to say that because you know some people were actually giving false information about Dana Book being the one that did it. No, it wasn't Dana Book. It was Nia Jax. <laughs> there is video proof, which I do have it, and I can't wait to show you guys at the end at the end of this video. But yeah, like I said, guys, uh, unfortunately Becky Lynch will not be facing Ronda Rousey at Survivor Series. And that's one thing that kind of sucks, man. I mean, a lot of people were really disappointed to hear this news. And especially the crowd tonight, when they heard that news, they were like, boo, and all that stuff. People were not happy. And man, this actually, right here, this right here, after Becky Lynch's momentum was going straight up and all that stuff, it goes down sour and it, it really really sucks for Becky Lynch man I mean she was getting there man she was hot she no, not hot like uh, uh you, you know like hot hotness and all that stuff that you want to go ahead and say to a girl but I'm um, like hot like uh she is like straight fire and getting pumped up and all and all that stuff she has the crowd chewing her on and all that stuff she has it right now and because of this incident, what happened to her and Nia Jax, things just went down sour and a lot of people are disappointed because a lot of people were really, really interested in seeing this match between Becky Lynch and Nia Jax. I mean, no, no, not Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey, my bad. Actually, that would, uh, actually I want to see that match too. Becky Lynch versus Nia Jax. Hey, follow that. I mean, if for some reason, if we do get a... A brand, a, uh, well, we are gonna get a, uh, I was gonna say brand split for some stupid reason, but I meant to say a, uh, um, what, what was it that Mr. McMahon called it? A, uh, superstar shakeup. There we go. If we get another superstar shakeup and if Becky Lynch goes to Wall, then there is a story right there. Becky Lynch versus Nia Jax because of what Nia Jax did to Becky Lynch. Right there. Called it. I said it right there. That's a good story. Make that happen. Maybe, I don't know. We have to wait until next year. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, um, so Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey will not happen at Survivor Series. So that's one thing that kind of sucks because a lot of people were really, really hyped up and they were really interested in seeing this match. But then after this whole thing that happened, <sighs> I guess we won't be seeing it, which is really, really sad. But if you guys want to know a little bit more about this whole issue, WWE posted something on their website and I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the article to give you guys third duty's perspective on all this stuff. So let's go ahead and read it. So what says on duty.com? It says SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch sustained a broken face and severe concussion. 
during last night's SmackDown Live Women's Division Invasion of Monday Night Raw. WWE.com can confirm. As a result, Lynch will no longer be facing Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey this Sunday at Survivor Series. Tune in to SmackDown Live now on USA Network for more on this development story. And that's where the auto went. So yeah, guys, Becky Lynch uh, suffered a broken face and a severe concussion. So yeah, Nia Jax really, really clocked her and jeez. Really bad timing. Really bad timing. All the momentum that Becky Lynch had all flushed down the toilet. And guys, I, I know a lot of people are gonna, uh, gonna go ahead and blame Nia Jax for all this stuff. It, it was a freak accident. I mean, you know, like, like the same thing as... Uh, I can't even, I, I, I'm going back to this shit again. But of course, with the whole Brie Bella and Liv Morgan situation and that stuff, I already said that that, that was a reckless thing that uh, Brie Bella did. But you know, sometimes when people are in those moments and they get all fired up and all that stuff, they sometimes are not focused and then out of nowhere they do something and until they realize what they did, they're like, oh shit, I did not need to do that. So yeah, it was in the moment of what Nia Jax, and especially everybody right there was going all hectic in the ring. I mean, the Raw woman versus the SmackDown woman, everybody was going hectic, they were all fine, all that stuff. And I guess Nia Jax was in the moment and all that stuff and she like, hit Becky didn't try in the face and that's what caused her to get knocked down and that stuff so uh, yeah I can understand why people are really really mad at Nia Jax of her ruining this whole match and all that stuff but you know accidents happen it was in the moment in, in these kind of situations people get uh things get a little bit crazy in these kinds of stuff so don't put too much blame on Nia Jax it was just a freak accident and all that stuff but Becky Lynch will be coming back, but all we know is we don't know when Becky Lynch will come back. WWE didn't say anything on her return. All we know is that she has a severe concussion, which WWE takes that really seriously about that. And uh, she also has a broken face. So we actually don't know when uh, Becky Lynch's return time, but I will do my best to try to keep you guys posted on Becky Lynch's uh, uh, injury and all that stuff. So. But let's just wait and see what happens tonight because if you guys don't know, Becky Lynch is going to be announcing her replacement on SmackDown Live. And I can't wait to see who her replacement is. So let's just see what happens. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm going to be showing you guys that video of what happened uh, off camera because the camera didn't catch this of Nia Jax uh, clocking Becky Lynch right in the face. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay too cool, guys. Bye.